This AI chip calculates 30 times faster than a human brain and fits on your fingertip. It's made in rooms 1,000 times cleaner than hospital operating rooms, using materials from 12 different countries. Here's the incredible journey from ordinary sand to artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence chips power a $500 billion industry. Each one costs between $50 and $15,000 to make, depending on complexity. The challenge? Carving circuits seven nanometers wide, 10,000 times thinner than human hair, without making a single mistake. Everything starts with silicon extracted from quartz sand. But not just any silicon will work. It must be 99.9999999% pure. That's just one impurity atom in every billion. Why so strict? Because a single contaminant can destroy a chip worth thousands of dollars. The purification happens at 1,000 degrees Celsius in massive furnaces that run continuously for weeks. Molten silicon gets pulled into perfect crystals weighing 300 pounds and measuring six feet long. This process alone takes 72 hours of precise temperature control. Even the slightest vibration can ruin the crystal structure. These silicon ingots then get sliced into wafers thinner than a credit card using diamond wire saws. Each wafer will eventually hold hundreds of individual chips, but first it needs to survive the most complex manufacturing process on Earth. Next comes wafer preparation in clean rooms that make surgical suites look dirty. The air gets completely replaced every six seconds, and workers wear full protective suits because even a single skin cell can contaminate the process. Each wafer gets polished to atomic smoothness. If a wafer was the size of Earth, the biggest bump would be six feet tall. Then comes the first coating of photoresist, a light-sensitive material thinner than soap bubbles. This coating must be perfectly uniform across the entire 8-inch wafer surface. Any thickness variation measured in nanometers will cause circuit failures later. The coating happens in spinning chambers under yellow light because normal light would activate the photoresist prematurely. Temperature stays constant within half a degree Celsius because thermal expansion would distort the delicate surface. After coating, wafers move through automated systems that never expose them to contamination. Now comes the step that creates your AI chip's brain, photolithography using extreme ultraviolet light. These machines cost $200 million each and are the most complex devices humans have ever built. The light source requires lasers to blast molten tin droplets at 50,000 times per second, creating plasma hotter than the sun's surface. This produces light with a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers so short it gets absorbed by air and requires a complete vacuum. The light passes through masks containing the circuit patterns, projecting them onto the wafer like a high-tech photocopier. But here's the incredible part. The positioning must be accurate to within 0.5 nanometers. That's like hitting a golf ball into a hole the size of an atom from 200 miles away. Each chip requires over 100 different mask layers, building up the circuits like a three-dimensional city. One misalignment ruins months of work and costs millions of dollars. After each exposure, the real magic happens through etching and deposition. Plasma chambers heat gases to 15,000 degrees Celsius, twice as hot as lightning, to carve away unwanted silicon with atomic precision. The etching must stop at exactly the right depth, measured in individual atomic layers. Too shallow and circuits don't connect. Too deep and they short out. Then comes deposition, where new materials get added one atom at a time. Copper for wires, tungsten for connections, and dozens of exotic elements most people have never heard of. Each deposition happens in ultra-high vacuum chambers, cleaner than outer space. The process repeats hundreds of times, building up microscopic skyscrapers of circuits. Computer systems monitor every step because humans cannot see or control processes this small. A modern AI chip contains over 50 billion transistors in an area smaller than your thumbnail. 
Each transistor switches on and off trillions of times per second without wearing out. Finally comes testing and packaging. Each chip gets probed with thousands of tiny needles to verify every circuit works perfectly. The testing happens at multiple temperatures and voltages to simulate years of real-world use in minutes. Only about 70% of chips pass all tests. The rest get recycled to recover the precious metals inside. Passing chips get cut from the wafer using diamond saws and mounted in protective packages. Before shipping, every AI chip undergoes burn-in testing at 125 degrees Celsius for 168 hours straight. This accelerated aging reveals any defects that might cause failures later. Chips must maintain perfect performance throughout this thermal torture. Advanced AI chips also get tested with actual artificial intelligence workloads to verify they can handle real computational demands. Only after passing every test do they get sealed in anti-static packages and shipped to device manufacturers worldwide. The result is a silicon masterpiece containing 50 billion transistors that can perform one quintillion calculations per second. From sand to artificial intelligence takes four months and involves 10,000 people across multiple continents. That chip now powers everything from your smartphone's camera to medical diagnosis systems, making the impossible routine. If AI chips amazed you, wait until you see how phone batteries pack three days of power into something smaller than a credit card. Subscribe for more incredible manufacturing stories behind everyday technology.